Amy at YarrowLuxHome.com and today I'd like to share with you about this timeless set of four hunting chairs. They are our item number 26-60C and we do have a matching settee which is 26-60A and a pair of matching hunting thrones. Uh, 26-60B. You can find links to those videos in the description below. Uh, originally, all of these pieces would have been together in one set. It's often called a parlor set or a library set, where you have the settee in the middle, the two throne chairs, and then the four extra chairs are used for additional spacing, seating around the room. If you're having a party, having relatives over, um, just makes a nice way to have a nice conversation with a whole group of people. Um, but we have broken these out so that you can uh, purchase just these four chairs if you like, or if you're interested in all the pieces, let us know. We'd be happy to work up a, per a package price for you. But sometimes folks are looking for seating for a games table where you just want four to go around the table, um, perhaps for your bridge group. Um, sometimes people are also looking for a little breakfast nook to have just four chairs around a table. Uh, so really flexible to have just four rather than a, set, a larger set of six or eight or 10 or 12. Um, so this set is hand carved in oak and dates to approximately 1880. The dimensions are 44 and a quarter high by 18 and a quarter deep, and uh, that was 18 and a quarter wide, 18 and a half deep, and 18 and a half seat height. So um, really nice larger chairs for antique chairs. Sometimes antique chairs are on the little smaller side, but these are nice and large. Um, the upholstery has been newly redone. It has an ivory background with a, sort of a periwinkle blue crisscross pattern, and it is a velvet pattern, so it does sort of change colors a little bit as your hand moves over it. I will show you that the back has also been upholstered. So you could float them in a room and they would look nice. Um, so this hunting set shows the typical elements, design elements of the hunting style. So we normally always find the barley twist columns. We do have barley twist legs and a stretcher down below. Um, but as you come up, you see this really nice center carving. Uh, it sort of has, uh, looks like a heraldic crest. And then we have these fun uh, mythical beasts on the side. I've been calling them phoenix because it looks like there's a little tail, like a dragon's tail, and then has a little bird head with a bird beak. Really cute. Um, he's surrounded by leaves and fruit, just uh, signs of abundance, of prosperity, um, lots of leaves continuing down. So uh, we often find these uh, floral leaf patterns from in the hunting style, and that's because this style was a late 16th century style developed in the Loire Valley when the king moved out um, for his hunting lodge um, out uh, and was then surrounded with all of his courtiers. So uh, it's indicative of the hunt, really has a more um, heavy carved feel to it, would really look great if you had a Victorian home or just love Victorian style. Um, please let me know if I can answer any additional questions for you by giving me a call at 803-276-4001. Remember, Eurolux Home includes free shipping within the continental U.S. and some places in Canada. Uh, let me know how you would use these chairs or what you think of our little Phoenix uh, friend in the comments below.